Hey guys, welcome back to Mabel Makes. We got another Ford. This time it's an F-150 2020, I believe. We're installing some LED lights in the grill, inside the factory grill. We're also swapping out the low beam and high beam headlights out to LEDs. I know some people like them, some people don't, but customers ask for them, we put them in. We're also going to be adding a front facing camera to the uh, original, not the original, but the aftermarket stereo system to allow for front video for when you're parking or for whatever it be. Um, so stick around, watch till the end, hope you like it. Alright guys, here's the kit there, 10 inch slim line LED light grill kit for the Ford F-150s. So that's the kit there, there's a the bracketry there, brackets and hardware, these are the lights themselves, pretty cool lights. Here's a the truck there. And uh, I got ahead of you guys, I removed the clips. You've seen me remove these clips with the panel popper.
this is one of those situations where it all goes to shit. Memo's back there, he's looking at the instructions, trying to put two and two together, and it keeps coming up as five. It's not five. So what happened here? So these lights mount onto the grill using supplied mounts. These mounts are specific to the luxury grill, which this truck does not have. It is not an XLT. Now, Chicarcas did not know about this exception when he ordered the part. So, Memo's going to have to make himself some custom brackets to be able to mount these lights. They will go on just as good as the factory ones would go on there. He's going to make them out of some good metal. So, you'll get to see that coming up. You see briefly what the part looks like there in my hands. I lost the footage where I actually made the bends. So, all I have left here is to drill some holes into this part so that uh, one of the uh, outer legs of the lights can mount to the uh, grill. And then we'll uh, make a different part for the inner part of both lights.
All right, guys, so this is how these lights mount. That's how they go. That slot there in the center. But these are supposed to fit this vehicle without modification. They do not because this doesn't have the chrome trim package. This is the work truck grill, so it doesn't have some uh, little things that stick out that hold the chrome trim. So these mounts has to be custom made. I made these out of one eighth inch steel, bolted them with a nut and bolt to that piece there, held them on to the uh, factory bolt that holds the emblem, and then just sunk these little two screws so that it would not wiggle back and forth. And we got the uh, lock nuts there. So we're gonna make some for the other side. All right, so through the magic of lost footage and time travel, move on to the installation of the front view camera. We've got those lights already set in the See the shots of the uh, mounts already installed, already painted coming up. Here I'm gonna take some measurements and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of those uh, vertical bars so that the camera can be perfectly centered on the grill. Uh, there's the uh, M12 Hacksaw, I believe they call it. It's really versatile. Uh, mini Sawzall. It's a one-handed mini Sawzall. Since it is variable speed, you can carefully use it even on things like this. You see Memo there is taking real, real care not to scratch up the visible parts of the grill so we can install that camera. Make it decent looking or at least as, as decent as he can get it. Now you're going to see Memo here pause and fiddle about, look at parts, look at them again. What he's trying to do is he's trying to figure out how he's going to make the mount for this camera. Now if you think it's long, just imagine how long it was at regular speed. No son míos. No te voy a robar. No son míos.
Yo te dije un tamal, no te dije los. Un tamal. No son míos. Now I ordered these very tiny three millimeter button head Allen bolts from the land of China where everything comes from. Everything's made there now. So these are a nice touch to add to any installation. So I like having hardware like this. So I usually have a stock of decent looking uh, hardware for small projects just like this. Here we're going to take care of some wire management. We're going to clean up the wiring by zip tying it and uh, making it come out of the grill on either side of it. Then we're going to make the connections for the lights and the camera. Uh, that'll be coming up here after all the cleanup is done. Alright, so that's it guys. There's the uh, custom mounts. I went ahead and I sprayed. Uh, what's supposed to be flat black, but I had a problem with the mixing up the paint I didn't mix it up properly so it ran kind of splotchy on some parts but it is black there you can see it uh, the camera mount is aluminum I'm not gonna paint that because it's not visible and it will not corrode 
Well, eventually it will corrode. There's the uh, camera right in the center. Okay. So I guided the wiring to where it wraps around there and then I'm gonna zip tie this here to get some tension on it so it's not flapping around. I'm gonna zip tie this one here. So here we're going to start to reassemble the grill and louver mechanism. Now this louver mechanism, what it is, is a set of uh, movable grills that allow the truck to heat up properly before air goes through the radiator. Now this is for colder climates, but some vehicles come with it nonetheless. And then there's a little motor that activates whenever the car is up to temperature. So these louvers prevent air from cooling the radiator too fast. So Memo is going to put this back together here. All right, guys. So a lot of the times the video will jump back and forth in the timeline just so I can better format it so you can get an idea of how things go together. Here I'm bringing in the grill. It's already got the lights installed. It's already got the front camera installed. That bunch of wiring is the wiring for the lights and the camera that I've got to get in there I've got to route it I've got to make sure it plugs in to each component so then the slack can be taken up towards another area it's all got to be secured with that so that's what you'll see memo doing here uh, you'll see some of the wiring I know you're not really into wiring nobody is except memo <laughs> But anyway, so that's what this shot is about. Later on, we'll see the uh, testing of all the parts. Uh, we'll go back and forth, like I said, between uh, different shots, different parts of the installations. But it's laid out like this, so you can kind of get an idea of what it takes to do all the parts. Here we're going to begin the installation of the LED headlights. So what it is, is you take the headlight assembly out, you replace the bulbs with LED type headlight bulbs. So I know some people like them, some people hate them, some people swear by them, some people are dead set against them. So whether or not they are better, I like them. But uh, I, I'm not telling you that you should get some. But when a customer asks for them, well, we put them in for them. Again, if you ask my opinion, if you get a quality set, they are good. If you get a cheap piece of crap set, then you're going to have a piece of crap experience. So if you get a good set, I think you will have a good experience. That being said, I'm putting them in because the customer asks for them. So you'll see me disassemble the headlight um, to replace these bulbs and uh, then we'll continue on with the reassembly of the grill with the new lights, with the camera, and then we will bring the wiring into the cab for the uh, headlights and for the front view camera, not rear view, it already has the rear view camera installed.
I'm slowing back down here because I don't want to gloss over how important it is to line up the headlight properly before snapping it in. It looks like it just goes right into place, and it does. So long as everything is lined up properly, if you just try to push it in and one of the uh, brackets or pins isn't lined up correctly, you will break something. And this is like a thousand dollar headlight, believe it or not, or something like that. It, they're expensive. Um, so you want to be careful lining it up. Then you just pop it right into place and you just replace all the bolts that you took off. It's uh, three 10 millimeter bolts at the top and side and a single eight millimeter at the bottom. Memo's going to make a full-hearted attempt to show you the wiring. He's got the ground, the positive, the fuse holder there, the wiring that goes down to the grill. And in that dark spot, he's trying to show you how he zip-tied the, uh, the relay setup and then guided it down to that rubber grommet that's under the fender. Of course, he doesn't realize that you can't see it because of the bad lighting. Memo's good at video like that.
We're going to go hella fast as Memo takes that dash apart. You've seen him do this in the XM Sirius or Sirius video. If you haven't seen that video, go back, check it out. It's a Sirius XM radio installation. Check it out. It's uh, somewhere back there, a few videos back. Alright guys, so you set up a front camera. It doesn't come too well through, but now you've got reverse. When you reverse it, that's the backup camera. And then if you want the front camera, you just press it on there. It lasts 20 seconds, or you could set the timer, you know. It's choice. And then we've got the lights right here this is the switch that comes with them and that's them there and you see they're flush they're flush there right? you see that they're flush there all the way across and there's that camera get a straight angle on it there's the lights we did these for it with LEDs did the high beam and low beam There you can see them all lit up. There's the finished product, guys. Pretty good looking truck. Pretty good looking setup. Those red squares are my attempt to cover the license plates back there a few seconds ago. So you see the finished product here. Pretty good looking setup. Um, Chicarca is going to drive it out for us. I hope you like this setup. I hope it wasn't too bad of a video for you to watch. All right, guys. So there it was. Another job done. I'm going to have the links for you in the description for the Rough Country LED lights that go in the grill. Now, if you have the XLT grill, which is the chrome grill, they mount on factory locations. You won't need to make those custom mounts that Memo had to make there. So you'll be good to go there. The LED swap lights for the headlights and the camera, they're generic and the customer brought them to us. So I don't have links for you on those, but... Uh, you know, if you're interested in them, uh, hit up your local uh, parts distributor. Maybe they can help you get them, or you can source them through Amazon. You know, one of those links uh, somewhere on the internet. Uh, look for some with some good reviews. Uh, the Rough Country stuff I know is very good. So, like I said, if you're interested in it, 
hit the link in the description. It won't cost you any more than it would if you ordered it through anybody else. Uh, but you'll help our channel grow. Um, hope you liked the video. Come back, watch some of our other stuff. We got more stuff on this truck. We got more stuff on other trucks. We got plenty of stuff coming down the line. We've got videos that are already recorded. We've got those are just videos that need to be edited. So hope you come back to us. Like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and come back to another one of these memo makes.